Hi everyone, how are you doing? Has been quite some time, but since I returned to Germany from Colombia, yeah, I had a lot of uh, intuition in coming, a lot of teachings that I had to receive and to digest. And we had quite some impressive happenings with the change of the Schumann frequency to higher frequencies. And um, yeah, I, w I wish to invite you today um, to come out of the mind. Um, from my understanding, we stand here in these times as humanity. We are human beings right now in this moment and this is all that is of importance. And we have to find for ourselves internally a path that can reunite all the different fractals of orientation, of cultures, of skin color, of sexual behavior, of um, ideologies. Mm. We have to revisit that. And we see it outside. Um, also the ET topic where I wrote on, because from my understanding we all are not from here, uh, many of us at least. The consciousness is way older than the Earth. And um, that makes sense. And it might be that it is our own experience, or it might be that it is an experience that we can receive and perceive, playing out in the now, in all dimensions, in all timelines, um, that we can directly uh, tune into. That could also be, right? So I would say let's, let's leave away all of these theories that um, bring us into a mode of detachment. Uh, when we let go, as long as we attach and, and identify as something or someone that we aren't in this reality right now, we are creating a persona and thereby an ego. And with that, we can be lured into fighting because in the moment we are just here in our own center without polarity because it includes all that is. We cannot be lured into fighting. And from this level, of own beingness without going into our mind too often to identify. We can interact with all it is without any problems, without any triggers received. Well, this is certainly just possible when we have received these triggers. And this is good sometimes, you know, um, to, to allow that, to allow triggers without feeling personally attacked, to, to be seen for what they are. I put down here under the video the links to the older entries. Um, you know about them. I explained from my understanding how our consciousness, our soul and our spirit manage and interact the ancestry that is given in our DNA and writes into this DNA own uh, lessons learned. And this is how we can receive from the external a trigger or some, something like scripture um, or a symbol that we recognize from the internal as a key and as soon as this key comes from the mind by our perception with the five senses um, it l unlocks our DNA and disappears that's how it should be right so we don't hold the key and uh, although it's unlocked um, we still cling to it so this is um, a r raffination so to say of the learned consciousness of the acquired wisdom that returned you to shadow work. And that's why I say it's so important to go deep into the root, into the shadow, so to say, into the unseen potential of us with our divine light of the heart, of the higher heart, and receive the information, the translation from our mind above. This is uh, the motivation I would like to pass on to you and um, what is important, because many are fighting still in these times and are preparing to be uh, warriors of light on their one side or uh, the legions of the demons on the other side. I, I, I talk to both sides, to be honest. They are not existing, the both sides. The promise is that we are all in the middle as the human being in the now. Um, so I would like to pass this on um, to all of you who identify. Let go of that. Go into your root, into your own root, see uh, your 
essence, your being, as, as all that is. And forgive yourself for that. All right? That's what I would like to pass. Um, take care, everyone, and I'm looking forward for exchange. In, ca in case you have questions or you would like to exchange furtherly, do that and go out, mix with the collective, enjoy your life. That's what is, what is in the end of the day, what's it all about. Namaste.